Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Row. In today's tutorial, we're diving into the exciting world of Unreal Engine 5 using the Ascent Combat Framework to add a new weapon moveset overlay specifically for two-handed swords. If you ever wanted to create your own RPG or action game with epic sword fights, this tutorial is for you. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be using the Great Sword Anim Set by West Weapon Master Anim Set, and I'm just going to hit Add Project and add it over to my ACF sample and click Add to Project. And then I'll have this folder that says Great Sword, and I'll go into the Great Sword Battle. And for all my animations, I'm going to be using the root motion. I'll select all these animations, right click and click replace skeleton and select ACF UE5 Manny and hit OK. Now, when I go into the combo sample folder, there's already some montages set up for me. You can click on them. It'll show you different uh, attack montages. So this one looks pretty good. So in this case, I'll be using the great sword underscore combo six. So I'll just copy this and go to content and I'll create a new folder for the purpose of this tutorial, but you can put this wherever. So I'll name this folder two handed tutorial. And I'll just paste that montage in here. I'll rename this to ACF underscore 2H montage. And I'll open this up. And one of the first things I'm going to want to do is right click at the top here. And in between each of these attacks, so each of these animations, I'm going to add a different montage section. So I'll right click here, add a new montage section, and call this combo 01 for this part. And then over here, I'll do combo 02. And then for the last one, I'll do combo 03. And I would keep going in incremental order depending on how many hits you want your montage to be. So I'll just drag this slider just to right where it begins. It should snap on. And now under the notifies, I'll add a track. So just, I'll, I only need two tracks in this case. And for track one, I'll right click and hover over add notify state. And I'll add the ACF action substrate. What this is going to do is tell ACF when your character is actually attacking. So your character will be able to hit, the weapon it's holding will be able to hit during this during this time. I want it to be during my attack animation. So probably from here to here. I'll just move this over and this a bit. So yeah, this is fine. And then on the second one, I'll add a under add notify. I'll add ACF notify exit action. You don't have to adjust the length. I don't think you can. Only the beginning part matters. So that's basically when you're allowed to exit. And this, what this will do is if you're spam clicking your attack, so basically adding the ACF notify exit action just tells you when you can leave this animation state. And I'll just copy paste this and add it where it's needed. And same with the ACF action substate. So I'll go ahead and add the ACF action substate on each part where the attack is actually happening. And then I'll go ahead and add the exit action right after that. Or telling it when you can move and when you can uh, go to the next combo. So now that I've finished adding these, I'll go ahead and begin the next part. But this is basically where I put the action substrate or the action substate and the notification for the exit action. What I'm going to do next is right click, go to blueprint class and I'll create an ACF action set. So under the primary data asset, there'll be a child called ACF action set and I'll call this ACF underscore great sword underscore AS for action set. And I'll go ahead and double click and open this. This is basically just to tell what actions you're going to do. And in this case, I'm only going to be adding the attack. But if you go ahead and see your sword overlay or bow overlay or some other stuff, you'll see them have added actions such as when you're mounted, what actions you'll do, or when you're in the air, what actions you'll do. But in this case, we're just going to do just normal attacks while you're on ground. So over here, I'll add the ACF two-handed montage. And for action, this is going to be ACF attack action BP. And the tag I'll be using is the actions.attack. So I'll go ahead and compile that and save. And now I need to create an animation blueprint for my overlay. So I'm going to right click and go to animation, animation blueprint, and I'll select the ACF underscore UE5 Manny. And for the parent class of the anim instance, I'll open this drop down, and I'll select ACF base overlay. And I'll hit create, and I'll call this ACF underscore two hand overlay. And I'll double click to open this. And what I'm going to want to do is in the details pane, basically just going to want to fill these out. So for this one, I'm going to want to create an anim offset and I'll go ahead and call this two handed underscore AO and I'll, I'll choose the ACF UE5 underscore mini. And now for the overlay anim, I'm going to select the great sword idle. This is just so when I'm idle, it'll just use this animation by default and same with the aim overlay anim. I'll use great sword underscore idle and I'll hit compile and save. Now I'm going to want to go to my ACF full player UE4 and double click and open my character. And if you already know where the animation blueprint is, you can go ahead and just open that. But what I like to do is go to my ACF full player UE4. When I go to my mesh, I'll open my ACF underscore humanoid ABP. 
and I'll double click to open that. Now what I'm going to want to do is under my move set layers and under my overlay layers, I'm going to be adding a new item under my overlay layers. So I'll go ahead and add that. And for my overlay, I'm going to select my ACF underscore two hand overlay. And for the tag name, I actually need to create one kind of like how we have in the pistol one dot move set dot pistol. We're going to create one that says move set dot two hand. What you're going to want to do is select move set. You can click this drop down arrow add sub tag and type in two hand and make sure for the source you have the default gameplay tags that I and I selected and click add new tag. And now I'll be able to select the two hand and I can just compile and save this. So while you're in your ACF player UE4, go down to your ACF actions component. And now under ACF, under your moveset actions, you'll click this plus sign to add another item in the array. And for this, we're going to add our ACF greatsword AS that we created. So that's, this is our action set. And for the tag name, we're going to use that two hand move set we created just like this. And now what I'm going to do is go over to where I've created my stuff, my items and all. And I'm just going to go to the all part on my content and search for ACF or actually I'll just search for sword. And now I'll just, I see the ACF sword BP and I'll just go ahead and copy this over to where all my great sword stuff is. So I'll paste that in and I'll double click this. And for the mesh, I'll create my great sword or I'll select my great sword asset for the scale mesh. And I'll change this to move set two hand and same with the move set actions will also be two hand. So the overlay and actions are now two hand. You can go to your skeleton and select which equip you want for the on body socket name and the in hand socket name. So I'll actually go ahead and rename this to ACF 2H sword. And now while I'm inside, I'm going to change the equip names to heavy equip and heavy weapon. These are defaulted in, in the ACF sample, but you will probably have to adjust the sockets and stuff. And in order to do that, you can just go on your skeleton and look for heavy equip, for example, and then you can right click add a preview asset for the great sword. And I, so mine's already placed, but you can rotate it and move it around to where you want it to be. And then same thing with the in hands, which is my heavy weapon. Part, which will be on my hand underscore R and heavy weapon will be right here. So I can just play around with this heavy weapon. And now back in my ACF 2H sword, I can add equip sounds, unequip sounds, stats, and so on. And I'll keep this the same item slot dot melee weapon. And since it's already assigned to my move set dot two hand, I just want to change this handle type from one hand to two hand and I'll compile and save. And that's that looks good for now, but don't forget that when you have a new skeletal mesh asset weapon or any weapon that you haven't used before, make sure you double click into that skeletal mesh and you have to add a start and end socket. It won't let you do it directly through the skeletal mesh itself, but you, if you go into the skeleton, you can right click root, add a socket and call this start and end, for example, and just make sure you move your sockets from the beginning to the end. So I have my end over here and my start at the very beginning. And this is just going to register where the hit area is for your sword. If the blade of it completely misses an enemy and only the handle touches the enemy, it won't actually register because it starts here and it ends over here. Now that that's created, I'll go to my ACF full player UE4. So now in my ACF character in the equipment and inventory component, I'll go ahead and for starting items, I'll add an element over here. And at the very bottom, I'll open this up and I'll select my ACF 2H sword that I created and I'll hit compile and save. And now when I play, I'll scoop back a little bit because I added AI to my scene. Now when I hit play, I'll hit I to open my inventory. I'll unequip my current weapons, which are my two melee weapons. And then I'll go ahead, scroll to the bottom and equip my two-handed sword. And you'll see it on my back just like this. And this is how I set it up on my two-hand equip socket, on my on-body socket. Now my in-hand socket, it'll show my default idle pose. But what I can do now is actually test if this works. And because I have sockets, the start and end, it's going to register my hits. So I can just start attacking. And the good thing is that when you create these action sets for specific weapons, you only really need to do it once. And now all two-handed swords can really share them. And then you can add special effects or just change the montage up a little bit, depending on like if it's a legendary or something. And yeah, you can do all sorts of stuff. And with the power of Ascent Combat Framework, it'll save you thousands of hours. So I suggest trying this out. It's, I know this is one of my longer tutorials, but I'll try to keep it short as much as I can. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. And thanks for watching Code Zero. Thank you.